What up, what up, what up? What's up, everybody? What's up, our DM people? Up. Uh, we're back, and as you can see, we're playing one of the greatest 80s movies of all time. It's a, a game adaptation of RoboCop. RoboCop. Um, I mean, I've been trying to be RoboCop. I just Every time I think I have an injury or anything, I'm just like, I just want metal legs. <laughs> I feel like it should happen, right? I feel like, how hard can it be at this? It's, it's about to be 2024. Yeah. Really, how risky operation, but metal legs is worth it. <laughs> I feel like it's a reasonable aspiration to have yeah. in this day and age. I mean, I got to find the one insurance company that'll cover it, right? <laughs> It's got to be one out there. Over three years ago. Uh, so, oof, I think this is all just set up or whatever. And how how, long, how old is this game? It's like a couple weeks. Oh, this is a new one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, folks, you're into some new shit now. Yeah. I was wondering why it looks so fancy. Welcome back, boys. In local news. So, like, uh, I think in the movies, like, a lot of these were the new stuff was, like, satire, you know? Yeah. Here's a statement from the head of OCP. Omni Consumer Products that's funding and running the Detroit... I'm assuming you're the dirtbag white guy who has all the money. <laughs> I don't think they ever named this guy. Like, even his name right there is Old Man. Old Man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his name He's was... your stereotypical, like... <laughs> I was, think... Uh, his name was Oldman. <laughs> that was really what it is. Uh, I think it was, like, in Rush Hour or something. Chris Tucker was like, Ryan, every big... Big heist. Yeah. You gotta follow the rich white yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, all right. I'm a big fan. Just let this guy walk into the news station. Winners do drugs. That's not right. Huh. I think they cut off the rest of that. <laughs> Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message. So it's not necessarily a mohawk. It's kind of. No. Uh, it's a reverse mohawk, I think, is what he was going well for. played. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Only the I'm posers jealous. have mohawks nowadays. Look, he's like, my right eye is yeah. a little bit of eyebrow, and the left one, yeah. I kind of want to be giving you the rock eyebrow all the time. Well, it's future 80s. You got to know that like things are going to be a little bit left to center. It's not the reality we enjoy. I will say, I am very proud of how he's keeping that shirt from not slipping a nip. Right? Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't have nips. It's the future. It's future Ooh, 80s. There you go. No nips. That's like a DNA thing now. You know how like, you can choose what kind of kid you want, the yeah. hair color, whatever? Yeah. Maybe you can choose no nips. His parents were like, you know what? We'll, uh, get no nips. Oh, no, there's one peeking out on that side. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Poser. <laughs> so we're dating this. Uh, it's uh, a few days before Thanksgiving. Yep. And we felt nothing like really embodied the Thanksgiving spirit more than RoboCop. Yeah. Right? So uh, basically, some. You know, the American authority, like cops, they're like the pilgrims who come over and just kill everybody. Yeah, and they feed you bullets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Giving you stuffing of lead. <laughs> you just, they just jam a bunch of drugs in that guy's neck? Is that what I just missed? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to get this straight. No, I think he is oh. sleeping. Yeah. Shh. He's tuckered out. <laughs> uh, no, Batman, you killed him. He's just real sleepy. <laughs> uh, so, you're just getting back from Boston. Yeah. I did. I do a quick trip to see moms. Um, it was awesome, man. I, I love having some good quality time with the fam, you know? And it's just, it was a short trip, but it's all I needed. It was an efficient trip. I wasn't going around, fucking around. Just some time with mom, saw my brother and cousins, yeah. my bestie and his fucking litter of kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Eric. Oh, friend of the show, Eric. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard of him. <laughs> I like that Grumpy guy. Grumpy-ass Eric. I mean, yeah. we discussed it all the way up here. I was like, yeah. probably mad because he's got all five kids. He's a, he's a recurring character on our podcast. He's, he's frequently a, a point of, of discussion. See you, Murphy. Good old school Murphy. Yeah, I like how... I like that... The other cops like refer to him as, as still a person. Still a man. Yeah, because that was the thing at the end of the movie. Like he, or not even the end of the movie. That was the He's journey like, through the movie. Family, what yeah. is love? <laughs> oh, what's up? You think you still got a metal dick? What's I don't up? know. I never watched past the first one. It could happen in RoboCop two, maybe three. <laughs> yeah. Earth three wasn't that. That's how they should have. Yeah. He's like, 
he actually got into drugs. It was like robot drugs. <laughs> he like fucking huffs WD yeah. forty at night. He's like trying to score some bad robot drugs behind the fucking uh, <laughs> the mechanic store. <laughs> What's the mechanic store for Drone and Blake right now? Uh, Advanced Auto Parts, yeah. O'Reilly's yeah. or something. Yeah, tell me you're not a car guy without telling me you're not a car guy. Like, yeah, the mechanic store. You know. You know, the place with the parts. <laughs> beep up, beep up, boop. I'm going to give you 10 milligrams of diazepam. Yeah, he's dead. You got him in a bag, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, that guy's dead. What happened here? Yeah. Doesn't really and seem like there's a lot for Murphy to do. Everybody's dead. All the killing's been done. You know, it is funny. I was like, I was going to say, I was like, oh, how do you just go faster? I'm like, no, he's a robot. He doesn't run. No, he, Robocop was a tank. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. I remember when it first came out, I was still like so confused. I just liked that he was like a robot. Yeah. I had to watch a couple of times. So like, because obviously I was a kid and I was yeah. a dummy. I didn't really pay attention to what plots were. Oh, we didn't give a shit. Like, yeah. it was just enough that he was a robot. Yeah. yeah. With a gun. Oh, sick. Like, yeah. That's all you needed. You tell me to stand down. I am SWAT. Wounded Jenner. Did he shove your broom up your ass? How would you get involved? You sound just like my wife. <laughs> he can't be that bad. He's making little fucking witty quips to yeah. the yeah. fucking Mrs. Officer. Medic? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Miss Lewis? Oh, yeah, sir. That's our partner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see them. See, he's through that vest. <laughs> it kind of looks like the old Lewis. All right. Yeah. I don't know if they got the voice actor. I think the dude no. is the dude from the movie. Oh, is uh, it? Robocop. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Peter Weller. I think that was it. Sorry, dude. The police want us to release the hostages. Boom. Are they going to release them through the window? Of yes. course. Fuck yeah. yeah. Man, that was awesome. Yes. <laughs> this game is already awesome. I haven't even touched anything. The reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, it just feels 80s, right? Yes. So many little liners. <laughs> to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. Lewis, fire is hot. <laughs> Good job, Robocop. Yeah. Besides, you could He's operating at 100% efficiency. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Looks like he just did squats. That's how he's walking. <laughs> All? Well, as you can tell, folks, this is a big story. We haven't really played anything yet. But, um, as you know, 80s was full of a lot of silly stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, wait for it. I think I'm ready. Please get the gun out of my thigh. Guys, guys. We've got company. Like, this is supposed to take place after the first Robocop. I think before the second oh, one. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Scum. Right. These guys know he's a fucking invincible robot, right? Like... Okay, I'm pressing the button. I don't know if I'm pressing the right button. Trigger. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> I think our patron saint, uh, Patrice, uh, recognized the Robocop gun as one of the great all-time movie guns. Along with the one from Predator. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Come on, kill me now! <laughs> Honestly, like, I was playing this a little bit to see what, what it was about. And uh, I feel like they're using the full-on theme song a little too early, right? Like, I would save this for, like, a more like meaningful... Like yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? I want some fizz. You're kind of wasting it on, like, just the fucking yeah, street-level goons, you know what I mean? Uh, where are my quarters? Do I have that in my body? No. Oh, fuck yeah! Can I get some fizz? Can I do anything? No? No, no, no. no pick up? That's bullshit. I'm writing that in my uh, review. <laughs> I think there is an animation for when you shoot people in the dick, like in the movie. If you want, if you want to take that for a spin yes. at all. <laughs> yes. Dick level. I want to hear them go, my uh, dick! I think uh, circle button is the heel. This is your health bar down here in the bottom left corner. Alright. So you're like 50%. Crouching? No. 
Oh, it's RoboCop. He doesn't crouch. Yeah. I was going to say, I was like, he can't. Yeah, he barely has knee joints. Mary. Just checking out. All right, all right. Here we go. Dick. Yeah, I don't know. I have uh, that was one thing I had a problem with with this is uh, why does it take so many bullets to kill these regular humans who are wearing like fucking tank tops and stuff like that? Like shooting them straight up in the chest. Press a circle. Come back up again. They're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this theme song right out the gate. I think they're just trying to the wall? tickle the nostalgia boner, you know, right out uh, the gate. Yeah. Because I mean, after a while, you're like, all right, what's gonna separate us from like another game? Let's see, maybe? maybe. I guess. I'll pick it up. Uh, square. You hold it. Nope. Back up. See right there, it has the prompt. Right there. Now press it. Hold square. Ooh. Now you got it. Oh, holy shit. This looks serious. Automatic. It seems like this gun is better than the Robocop gun, which I don't know if I agree with. Don't you talk about the pastor like that? Oh, shit. I mean, just in this game, like, this gun seems better than the Robocop gun. It seems more effective. Yes. <laughs> Do that. I'm reloading folks. Don't mind me, just press the buttons. Uh, but the bullets on his gun are infinite. So you never oh, run out yeah. of bullets uh, stuff. Right. But you're gonna have to keep an eye out for uh, for ammo for this one. Or any of the other guns that aren't his. Yeah. Uh, who would you want at a heist? Between you who? want him? What do you want, McLean? You want Bruce Willie? McLean. I prefer right? somebody. Part of me, as much as I like Robocop, I'm like. Like a heist where you might have to switch between like just fucking barreling Germans. through the front door or fucking having this tank. You know? Oh, we're getting rid of guns? I didn't want to get rid you of them. You mean I'm. I'm picking a guy to perform <laughs> a heist or to stop a heist? No, stop. And then we'll probably take a little too far ourselves, but you know. Um. Uh, I think Robocop could fucking do it. Let's take an elevator. Because he's a tank. You know, he could take more damage. Like, you can pretty much fucking stroll right in. It depends on the heist, I guess, though. Get him here. If there are hostages involved, I think. McLean. Mm. Oh, that I one. No. What do I press? Uh, look down a little bit. Oh, no. God damn it. Walk up forward. Now, oh. square. I knew that, folks. Uh, so you were telling me you saw the Madam Web trailer? I did see the Madam Web. It was pretty ago. interesting. I mean, I was also talking about how um, doing a lot of femme fucking killers and agents and all this stuff, which is cool. Yeah. Some of them are pretty funny. There's a couple of other ones I saw coming out just on Netflix and stuff. Yeah. But uh, like you were saying, like I don't know too much about her storyline, but you were saying she wasn't so much of like a killer slash agent or whatever, you know? Well, my... Uh, experience with her was from the old animated show and uh, she more just kind of would guide him or give him advice on what's what's coming or what else is going on throughout the spider-verse she like made him aware the spider-verse existed and uh, she wasn't really an active combatant like yeah. she seemed in the movie you know um, so I don't know I like to think I keep an open mind about stuff like this uh, if it's good, it's good, you know. And I also know, or I heard that they've kind of uh, updated her or modernized her character in the comics. So it might just be based off a version I'm not familiar with, you know. Ooh. Dick shots. An asshole. That's what I'm saying, like, why do you have to shoot these guys so many times? Like, is everybody a fucking RoboCop? Are we all fucking robots? Yes. Is he fighting, like, 
are these all T1000s, T800s, and that's why it takes more than two or three bullets. They're on some serious drugs. Maybe. I guess so. <laughs> I watched Blue Beetle. Yep, I watched that. It was pretty good. I did not enjoy it. No? No. <laughs> I think it was fun. I don't think... Uh, I. It's kind of what I expected out of it. I, wasn't ex I don't know what you were expecting when you were coming out of it. I had no expectations. Yeah? No. You still didn't like it? I just didn't... I knew it was going to be fun loving like it was going to... I just didn't love the acting and the writing. Because uh, they were Mexican? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like a worse because George Lopez took over the show. George Lopez was awful. It was <laughs> it was like a worse Shazam. That's really what ooh it felt like. yeah. So was it that was your Shazam? All right, I'm into it. Well, just you know me, I, I hate Shazam. Well, you don't like Shazam because Zachary Levi, right? It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, but it well, makes me like. But it's not really his performances you don't like, right? It's just that he doesn't take it serious and he doesn't work out. You I got mean, a muscle no, suit. it's a little bit because I like yeah. the kid way better than I do like him. Yeah. But that's, like I said, still, no? About, like, him well, not taking the role seriously? Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it shows in the movie. Yeah. All right, what am I supposed to do? Where are you going? Bitch, what, tell me what to do. Oh, uh, go back to the guy. I can't shoot you. Uh, I think L trigger? Yeah, hold it. So you didn't like his performance, too? No, I wasn't a fan. No? Uh... Nuke that wasn't my problem with Shazam. Well, actually, I don't even think I had a problem with Shazam. Like, I don't, I don't love that the fucking muscle suit sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> that shit is pretty fucking funny. But that's not what ruins the movie for me. Or, uh, really? Or it doesn't ruin the movie for me. The kneecap shot didn't take you down? No, I'm just what I'm saying. These guys are fucking indestructible. About Blue Beetle, I just felt like it was the acting and the writing was kind of fucking. Well, I don't it, say cheesy. That's not the word, but yeah. I knew it was going to be, again, family from the South. Yeah. It felt more like like a WB show. <laughs> you WB. <know? laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Look like that kind of campy and oh, cheesiness. <laughs> Sorry. Reload. <laughs> there we go. Right, Dirty hairy gun. gun. What else did, uh, did you see for upcoming trailers that you like? Um, mm, I don't know about trailers. I know the Legend of Zelda movie got announced. They announced that they're working on it, and I have mixed feelings about that. I'm worried about it because I love Zelda. Uh, yeah, because it seems really hard to do because Link doesn't talk, right? Yeah. The main character. So, like, where are you getting your inspiration from? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. And it's, I feel like it's going to be really hard to do a characterization of it because the reason they make it so that he doesn't talk is so that whoever's playing it can kind of yeah, project their, their personality yep. or whatever personality they want onto their main character, you know? So, kind of zeroing in on a very particular personality or characterization I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people disappointed you know yeah I'm not good with this control by the way how are you Jesus how many shots I that need are you still dead I still shoot bullets oh. that plus there's so many different versions of Zelda like which one are they gonna choose like uh some of them I love more than others, you know? So Which one do you like better? Do uh, you like Zelda or like uh, Metroid? Zelda, all day. Really? I wasn't super into Metroid. No? Like, I like it, but it's just, it just didn't stick the way Zelda did for me. More. Oh. <laughs> Let me just turn around, there's like seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where are my bullets going? Do not hit these guys. That's what I'm saying. Like, they take so many fucking shots to kill them. They kind of act like it's a minor inconvenience. Like I'm shooting to get nerf shot. balls at them. Yeah. Over here, Murphy. It's I'm here. that service box, isn't it? Hey, why don't you check it out? You fucking bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Stop telling me what to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, over there. 
Um, I'm a robot. I could only have done this lever. <laughs> Fucking girl. You could have done that? <laughs> Jesus. Um, I saw the Ghostbusters trailer. Yeah. How do you feel about that one? Did um, you see the other one with the, the obviously the, there was one before that, right? With the kids? Yeah, I did see it. I liked it. It's not really, I think it's by comparison to the one with uh, in 2016 with all the girls where I did not like that one. Um, and it's, Nothing to do with the fact that they're all females. Just that, like the tone was so drastically different than like the original ones with uh, Bill Murray and those guys. Because like those movies were, they were set in like a real world, and all the characters were real characters. Like uh, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and those guys were kind of like just a little bit quirky, you know, but it's still like believably real. And then the one 2016, like everybody's like cartoon character. Like doing a bit, like a Saturday Night Live, or like it felt like a Mad TV skit, yeah. more than anything, you know, which I didn't love. And then they made the one that came out like a few years ago with the kid from Stranger Things, and it it felt more like they were taking it serious. Now it's supposed to be his son or his grandson. Who? Um, the kid. It's Egon's okay. grandson. Oh, grandson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's so his like Egon the family. Joker? I don't know. Oh. What a freaking psycho. That's weird. We need to be quick before they kill him. Oh, he saw himself. It wasn't yeah. him. I know that. Freaking was, out, man. It was his human self. Yeah. Stay focused, bitch. <laughs> I worry about my dick. Ugh. So I can't have you on the streets. Slime bags detected. <laughs> I love it. The police dog and his bitch. These guys not know who Robocop is? Like, why are they not fucking... Here's the other. All right, if you saw Robocop, wouldn't you be a little like... Right? What the fuck? <laughs> Even if like, you do that right there, you yeah. start shooting. Yeah. You're like, all right, this is doing nothing. <laughs> See, like, how many times did you just shoot that guy in the chest? Yeah. And he was just like, ooh, ah, ah. Owie, 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 owie. Ooh. That was a hot bullet. <laughs> um, how about that headshot? The Marvels also came out while you were gone. I heard it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I keep hearing. I feel bad. Yeah, I heard it's doing really bad. I'm not celebrating that at all, but it's just. I mean, the only I've heard the only really good thing about it is that they had like, you know, the, the credits ending. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah so it's just let people know, like, oh cool, we're gonna be able to have the, you know, the X Men in the next. I don't. Know. Who knows? I feel like they should have, after Thanos. They should have got to like the Fantastic Four and X Men as soon as possible. You yeah, know. I don't know why they were like dragging the feet on Fantastic right? Four. Right. Yeah. This is clearly what we want. I don't remember exactly when they got the rights to all that stuff too, though. These guys are prepared. But they've had it for a while. Time they waited till they got the rights. Like yeah. they had a storyline made. Like you know, I like yeah. to believe they would. Still, it's only been like trickling out over these last few movies. Oh, you need to fucking, uh, you're almost dead. Circle? Yep. Hold it. Oh, you're out of them. Oh. Jeez, well, maybe these guys weren't invincible. I know. That's what I mean. Well, time you do something, partner. Oh, shit. Got him. What do you think so far? <laughs> That's cool. I just suck at the shooter stuff. Sometimes, yeah. like my my hand control, like whatever. Yeah. It's not it's not as my old young self used to be. Wow. But no, I like it. I mean, obviously. It's nostalgic. I like this. I want to give myself a drink of water. Oh, uh, look to your left. I think there might be a... Oh, oh see, I like when they do that. So I, think, uh, I don't know if that's an energy thing. I'm kind of... 
heal yourself. Nope. You <sighs> have to be on the lookout for some some health. You gotta tell me Riz Fizz won't fucking make me feel better. You know what I, Bullshit. I heard in other movie news is they're making a Barbenheimer movie. A what? Barbenheimer movie. Are they really though? Yeah. I think it's gonna be like scary movie where it's just oh, kind it's of just like, a, yeah. yeah, where it's like combined, like spoof of both movies combined or some shit like that. Dude, Jesus, how many times out there just keep shooting you? So you don't know what to do. So I can shoot you through the wall, but not in your face. Hey, Lewis, come up front. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she did. Good for her. And then uh, the one I'm excited for is the Fall Guy. Cause I'm, yes. I'm, uh, Looks so good. Yeah. Because we're definitely on the golf course. Oh, to the left, to the left, to the left. There's some help right there. What's up, F? No, press circle. Yeah. I've come around to Ryan Gosling. Come on. The okay. nice guys and uh, a handful of other movies I've seen him in. He's actually okay, pretty uh, funny. Gray Man. Yeah, Gray Man. He's awesome. So yeah, we'll see how Fall Guy is. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Let's breach. Oh, yeah, the slow-mo. <laughs> Alright, I kind of like this part. They killed the hostage, though. I hated that guy. Dick! Dick! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I had a, I was a somewhat interesting story. I don't know if you heard about uh, Coyote versus Acme. I think it was a movie. All right, so first of all, it involved friend of the show, John Cena. He was set to star in it. Yeah. And I know he loved that guy. Um, but it was about Wiley Coyote finally suing Acme for like <laughs> all the faulty products he's bought from them. I hope this is a real thing. It is. So they made it. I think it's finished. And it, uh, I think Warner Brothers shelved it. Cause they oh, get, I heard about this. So they keep doing it. It's like for tax reasons. Yeah, right? exactly. So they get, oh, did you get all the, the help things right there? Oh, God, no. I think they're right to the left. All right, there's two. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so yeah, they get like a tax break or something like that. If they, if they, they use the money to make a film. Yeah. And then like, they obviously realize even just because you make it doesn't mean you're going to make money. So they just hold yeah. on to it, right? I think. Or something like that. I think if the money you get from shelving it, like your tax credit or whatever, is more than what you'll actually make at the box office, they'll go ahead and shelve it, right? Yeah. But from what I heard, they did test screenings and it like was doing like 80 and 90%. Like people liked it. Yeah. So I think they're bringing it back. I think also part of the controversy was that, like, uh... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yep, you're dead. <laughs> Did you just dodge my bullet? Oh, ooh, ooh, got him. <laughs> I think part of the controversy is, like, a little bit to do with, uh... It sparked what happened with the actor's strike. Or the writer's strike or whatever. Because a lot of people worked on these movies. Yeah. And then they shelve them. Um, and... It's stuff that I think people are counting on being able to put on their resume, and I'm sure there are other uh, issues with it too. But um, yeah, it's turning into like a problematic practice that these companies are making movies and then just willy nilly tossing them aside to try and scrounge up as much money as they can in the meantime. Oh, there's some more health right there on the table, on the edge of the table. Uh -huh. Right there. Yeah, let's check these little fuckers. Shoot through the wall. I'm shooting you! I think there was a pillar right there. It's a bulletproof pillar. Oh, Jesus. You're getting really good at just nailing him right in the face. Shoot you through the wood. I really want to give it to these guys. They're like, he's mowed down how many of their buddies, and 
they're still like hanging in there trying to fight this guy, right? It's clear he's nigh invulnerable. As far as they know, they don't know you're like getting yeah. down to like 10% health or whatever. <laughs> he's like, he's a fucking tank. Yeah. Yeah, have none of you communicate? Like, yo, the dude has been going through each floor and mowing <laughs> us down. Dude, be on your way. <laughs> Oh, there's some more health right yeah. there, too, right? Yeah. Look, you set up. I think you can also pick up, like, um, those propane tanks and throw them and shit. God damn it, stop it. You can pick him up and throw him too. Uh, a lot of crew band. I also heard they're moving away from our guy Jonathan Majors Kang. As a, are they? That's what I heard. That's what the rumor is right now. I think they they held on for so long. Yeah. Now they're just gonna move away. That's so weird. That's what I heard. I don't know exactly why. I'm sure we'll hear about it later. I don't even think it has completely anything to do with like his legal troubles or anything. I think it might just be the way been perceived so far in the movies like you know damn it i don't really do that people have received him he kind of got the sh his balls kicked in by ant-man you know so what big of a how big of a threat can he really be you know or people aren't just psyched about him because of that it is kind of funny to think of like the almighty King the Conqueror getting canceled though, like cancel culture is like really <laughs> what defeats him. Where are you coming from? You know what? This. Is that it? I'm gonna blow shit up over there. Um, and also, we are super excited to announce that our best ETN is officially a member yep. of the gang. Uh, we're going to jump around this week, so yep. you'll hear about that. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> fat finger. Sorry, guys. I got these fucking oven mitts for fucking hands. <laughs> fucking yeah. sausage links. Uh, but yeah, TN will be on uh, probably... You'll be hearing her a lot more on this show and on the podcast. You know, uh, she's been ha hanging out with both of us a lot more. And we were like, you know what? You, you are one of us now. Yeah, exactly. You've been absorbed into the dynamic. Man. So Hi. she already did the old, uh, you know, the blood seance. Yeah. So exactly. our bloods are, are together. So that's step one. Yeah. She got to go through an array of interview, uh, yeah. shoot from the hip questions. Yeah. And then we're gonna brand her. Yeah. Literally. It's in this room. That's some more health right there. Oh yeah, give me that shit. We God also... damn it, fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? What is this? What's this? What a Robocop really had a trouble like uh, operating his yeah. guns because like, <laughs> <it's laughs> I mean, that's a real thing, right? Can I shut the lights off? No, 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 no break your ears. Look at him, he's just yeah. walk, he's just... <laughs> I'm picturing Robocop is like undercover with like a fucking wig. <laughs> with a weird like... hat on. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's just me, the babysitter. <laughs> Holy shit. Where Sorry. can a cool guy like me score some drugs? <laughs> Never said what happened. Oh, <laughs> Everybody run, it's Robocop! <sighs> How do they keep fucking... This cover keeps getting blown. This guy doesn't know what the fucking... Maybe he's just not ready for field work. Oh yeah, he's remembering his family. That shit was kind of sad in the movies, though. You know? Man. Yeah, it's fucked up. Uh, behind you. You can, I guess. 
It's gonna be alone. <laughs> I wasn't raised in a barn. <laughs> Murder time. Kill the freak! I'm not a freak, I'm a robot. <laughs> Technically, they're freaks. How? Oh, Are you lot? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck, dude? Really? <laughs> Yeah. In your dick. In your head. <laughs> Fuck, man. So that's an episode. What did you think? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually starting to empathize with Robocop. He doesn't have it as easy as everybody thinks. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking joker. Hey, no sudden moves, cop. I'm not dying here. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to this one. I don't know. Who's that girl? I don't even know her. Kill her. What's his wife? Ooh, Ellie Murphy. Remember when uh, he would just sit there and like just analyze his head and just shoot for the fucking head? Yeah. Now he's not functioning right now. Good old torch head. Maybe that's a plot point. He's not functioning. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Boom. That's what I was looking for, folks. Yep. And she's traumatized oh. for life. Girl power. Oh. Ellie girl got it. it. Oh, boom. She's girl bossing it. Boom. <laughs> so that's Robocop, everybody. You fucking froze. <laughs> Your family's dead, Murphy. Look Let at it that. go. She's so freaked out. Get it away from me. Yeah. Uh, You're a fucking freak. Sorry. <laughs> and you didn't even do anything. You want that if you saved her, you just stared at her like a fucking weirdo. It's been a very tough evening. All right. We want to thank everybody for watching this episode. <laughs> uh, All right, everybody. You got a homework assignment. Everybody yeah. go back and watch the original Robocop movie. Yeah. I Tell actually us, do love uh, it a lot. Yeah. How much you like it, love it, yeah. kind of okay. I don't know about the other two, but the first one. Yeah, I just watch the first one. It's really good. Go watch the other ones. Uh, but yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.